Assalamu alaikum. Hello. I hope that you're fine. Uh, today we are going to see how to extract the k, the k values or the erodibility factor using the the FAO data, but with other version of the FAO data is DSMW. So um, to get that uh, that kind of uh, of uh, data you have just to type on Google the SMW soil so the first the first result is like this you have to scroll down and to choose here digital soil map of the world is reshape file so this is the the, the file which you have to, to download for me, I already uh, I have downloaded. So this is the resulted uh, file. You have just to extract here like this, and to get that file, for me I will open now ArcGIS or ArcMap, ArcMap interface. So this is the interface of ArcGIS. I now I have now to uh, to open that file. Of uh, uh, file data. I have to open DS layer and DSMW shape add like this. And also, I have to open the the shape file of the studied watershed. So for me, I have the, the watershed of Bishar in Algeria. So I have to open the, the, the shape file like this to get the study area like you are seeing here in blue. So now I need to type here clip to get the information of the studied watershed from that. Uh, file data and clip analysis now I have to select TSMW and for the second input is the watershed shape file and type OK to get the result or uh, the soil types of the studied watershed So this is the result of the clipping procedure. Now I can deactivate the other, the other layers just to get the, the result. So this is the result. Now I will right click here and open attribu attribute table. Now I need those or this column, dome soil, dome soil, dome soil. Now I have to return back or to go back to DSMW file and go to open generalized SU info is Excel file. So this is the file of, uh, so this is the Excel file. Now I have to search about, for example, YK here on that database. So I can search manually or type control F and try to search about it like this like you are seeing this is this is the, the line of YK so I have like this copy and paste it here like you are seeing now I have now to search about Y so here come to here and type control F and select Y so this is the Y the line the line information of the soil type Y copy it also here and as you are observing the, the third the third line is similar 
for the second so I have now to search about GC so I have to go back and type here GC 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 or I can search about it manually and like you are seeing this is the information about GC so I have also to copy it here and paste it here now I, I have also to uh, copy the the, the information about those uh, those uh, soil types like this now what you are in need or what you have to guard from those table you need just to, s to select sand topsoil uh, silt topsoil clay topsoil and the also, also topsoil because we are going to use so I have to make it in yellow and this is the Excel file what I'm going to to get it uh, to take it to you with the video I have just to copy the information about of sand topsoil here also for the silt here and for the clay too and for the OC topsoil topsoil because the most important or the most vulnerable layer or soil layer which is vulnerable to erosion is the topsoil so we have to use the layer of topsoil information so now I have to take those information to the other page of that Excel file and try to pass it here like this now we are going to use the equation of Williams so this is the equation of Williams the Williams um, calculates the KUSL so this is the fraction of sand this is the fraction of uh, of clay moins silt this is the fraction of organic carbon and this is the fraction of held sand uh, this is the equation to calculate each factor from this equation from each equation and finally we have to uh, multiply that KUSL multiply it by the factor 0 0.1317 to to get the k factor you are, we are going to see that so for me i will give you that excel file because i have already programmed the excel file with those equations like you are seeing here i have already programmed so you don't have to program you need you have just to fill the values here to get automatically the other file the the other results so for me the kusl for that study case is 015 for the first type of the soil which UK but to get the real K factor I have to multiply it by the factor 1317 in that column like this and to get finally the real factor of irritability of the studied watershed like you are seeing here and this is the articles of uh, of Williams so like are seen here a B C D and multiplied by 0 0.1317 and this is the F sand this is the F silt Mongolia and this is the F silt and this is the F held sand so this is the article of uh, assessment of methods for predicting soil durability soil with Jamil Alexander Ayash and this is and there are another paper which you can use which you can find uh, that equation is chapter 22 for SWAT input data soil and also so this is the equation of Williams 
and th there are another another paper real and calculated KUS adverbity factor for well so you can download those articles that just to check the, the equation like reference now what's uh, what we have to do now uh, we can type here add field and uh, for example uh, write k factor and for here we have to select floats and yes to create another another column on the table and I have to fill it with the k factor resulted from the calculation of the Williams equation like you are seeing here on that on that table so now on the on ArcGIS I have to go to editor start editing and select the SNL clip to continue and I can type those results 0 0.0208 0, 0 0.0208 uh, for the second is uh, 0 0.214 0 point zero two hundred fourteen the the third is the same because we have the same uh, side type and for the last we have zero point zero two hundred twenty seven So this is uh, the method to extract the k-factor from uh, the file data with the version of uh, data soil map of the world. So um, I hope that I was clear on that tutorial. Take care of yourself and assalamu alaikum.